is our campsite for tonight. We haven't found many places to well camp on this particular road. The traffic is terrible. So it's a zoo station. People are really nice. The mechanic came up to us and talked to us. Told us we should go over by the lights, but we told them we didn't need lights. Here's the door. It's very cool. Oh, look at the door knocker. Lock. Right. And then you have the main area. It's very cool. It's an eclectic mix of travel items. It's very open plan. Got a door here that goes into the glassed in veranda, which goes all the way around the house. So we'll just walk through the house. The day we left Bukaramanga, our goal was to find a crazy bridge that had been featured in a Top Gear episode. The result was a six hour detour, as Tim thought that the turnoff was much farther away from the town than it was. Only here, but there's a waterfall right here that's going over the road, so I'll show you that. And that is our camp spot. <laughs> we thought it was a semi abandoned road because of the whole Top Gear episode where they went over this crazy bridge. Tim wanted to go over this crazy bridge. There have been probably 50 cars and motorcycles passed by this morning. It was crazy. So these bridges that they show, so scary. People do them all the time, every day, twice a day. Truck, motorcycles, do multiple times a day. And there's Tim, making his coffee.
So we are on the search for the lost drone. It went crazy and unfortunately Tim wasn't looking at it when it crashed. This is the crazy bridge we saw on Top Gear and that we really <laughs> lost the drone. This used to be a railroad. I mean, this whole road used to be a railroad. But all the way to the town and all the bridges were train bridges and railway. You want to tell our crazy story for today? What? So we were, we went to the big bridge to film with the drone and the drone, I had the drone up and it was yelling at me a few times about GPS signal, but it, it's done that before. So I didn't, didn't heed the warning. And, uh, and I got it off over the bridge and it was off to one side and then all of a sudden it just took off away from me in a, like a straight line and nothing I did it wouldn't come back I hit the return home button nothing and uh, and I watched it as through the camera as it hit a tree <laughs> bounced correct. hit another tree bounced <laughs> fell through the bushes and then landed what I thought was on shore somewhere I saw the water coming but it it, it didn't land in the water. Thank goodness. And so we spent probably 20 minutes looking for it from the bridge. With the binoculars. Because it's very rugged. And we just said, ah, where it's gone, forget it, whatever. Well, we were walking back to the car and uh, family was there and they said, oh, what's going on? And blah, blah, blah. And we said, oh, we lost our drone. And they said, well, where'd you lose it? And we showed them. I <laughs> said I didn't know. Kind of told them about where we thought yeah. it went down. Yeah, went over the bridge, showed And them. they went, oh, we'll look for it. And so uh, an older man, probably 65, and what I think might have been his son. Yeah, I think so. Uh, started looking for it. And, it. and it's so, and I followed him in there, and it's so steep that they had to go get ropes but the guy found it. And, I couldn't uh, believe it. He walked up to me yeah. with a drone and I was like, <gasps> I was literally speechless. Could not believe they found it. We did. We thought it was lost forever. And because it's a super steep canyon and it's in the jungle. So, and we would not have gone down there by ourselves because yeah, no. it, I mean, we it didn't was, know quite where it was and- It was too steep. And, and it was really steep and jungly and we would never have done it by ourselves. So it was so nice of them to, do that for us. He got it for us. Then they gave us coffee and yeah, they we took talked, us to their house and, and they laughed at Tim for a while. Yeah, they laugh at my Spanish <laughs> or lack of. <laughs> and we have the drone back. We, we have to clean it up. It's not even that. It, what's not broken, is it? Didn't look like it was broken. It looks like it'll probably be fine once I clean the dirt off of it. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle, literally.
because I'm awfully cute. Oh, lucky shakes. <laughs> His tongue's hanging out. Your tongue hanging out. Your tongue hanging out. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, he's directed to 